Hello YouTube, this is Jacob from JC TechSpot here, and well, it has been quite a bit since this channel's last video, but I figured since this is really a pressing issue, and it's really just something that has been a lot of confusing for a lot of people that have been running the iOS 12, the 12.1.2 rootless jailbreak by Jake James, I just figured I might as well make a video to clear up uh, some of the confusion. Now, as you know, this is a jailbreak that gains some root access to the device and allows for some, you know, tweaks and things to be installed, but it doesn't really give full privileges to the user. So Cydia doesn't really come with this jailbreak, and we're still waiting for a full jailbreak. But in the meantime, I figured I might as well release a video to show you guys how you can actually still install some tweaks. As you can see, I have Zeppelin going up there in the top left. So there's still some things you can do with this rootless jailbreak, but it's kind of limited, and I figured I might as well take the time to make a video for you guys to show you guys what you can do and how to install certain tweaks that are compatible with iOS 12 um, after you have jailbroken using Jake James's rootless jailbreak. Now, to go ahead and get into this, you want to make sure that you're already in a jailbroken state, and this means that um, you have run the jailbreak, you've downloaded, um, this application should come installed, it's the uh, iSuper user um, that comes with the rootless jailbreak, and you're also going to want to go ahead and hop into the App Store and download the Siri Shortcuts application, which is essential for this to work. Um, now it's very simple, it's just you got to follow a few steps, and it's not really the easiest to find if you don't really know how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and go into the description and navigate to the link that I will post. It'll be the first link in the description, and ultimately this is the link where you can get the shortcut, which is basically the tweak patcher and the tweak installer. What this does is it takes the uh, tweak and the deb files um, that I'm going to show you guys how to get later, and it basically makes it so that your device can read them and install them. And this is all going to be done through the Siri Shortcuts app. So all you're going to want to do is hit this Get Shortcut button, and it will redirect you to the Siri Shortcuts, which I will also leave a link to download that application from the App Store. Uh, I will leave that in the description. And what we'll do is it's going to add this uh, shortcut to your shortcuts library. It's called the Rootless Jailbreak Tweak Patcher. And ultimately what it does is you can escape this application from its sandbox state, and it can run SSH, SSH local files, hereby patching these tweaks and installing them. Now, it's a pretty simple process, but it can get a little difficult if you don't really know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to install tweaks. And the one I'm going to be using in this one is a very popular tweak called Cylinder. So after you've downloaded or after you've gotten the shortcut and added it to your series shortcuts, all you're going to want to do is navigate to the second link I will have in the description, which is going to be for this iOS repo updates website, which is ultimately a website that stores all of the Siri tweaks and the packages um, and the links to the files where you can install these. So all you're going to want to do is once you get to this website, you're going to go ahead and search for the tweak, tweak that you want. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be doing the tweak cylinder. I think I spelled that wrong. Let me go ahead and change that cylinder. And you're just going to go ahead and search. And guys, I just want to mention one thing. Make sure that the tweak that you're trying to install is compatible with your iOS version. For me, I am on an iPhone SE running iOS 12.1.2. And so therefore, not a lot of tweaks are compatible because this jailbreak is the rootless jailbreak and it only has limited functionality. Anyway, once you've found the tweak you want, you're just going to go ahead and tap on it here and it will redirect you to a page where you can then scroll down and you want to find out where it has this little box. As you can see that, um, let me get in the focus here, it says version 1.0.6 and what that's going to do is it's then going to lead me to a link which contains the file for this tweak. So if I go ahead and tap on that, you want to make sure you have the latest version. It will bring me to this page, um, where then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap and I'm going to copy the link for this DEB file. Now, this is very important because this is basically really what we need in order to install this tweak. So after you've copied that link and after you've added this rootless jailbreak tweak patcher into your Siri shortcuts, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the Siri shortcuts app is closed and make sure that your super user app is closed. And so then you're going to open the Siri shortcuts app, go back to your home screen and open the super user app. And as you can see, you have a list of some of the processes that are running on your device right now. You're going to go ahead and tap on shortcuts and then you're going to see a list of options and you're going to want to click unsandbox. So what this is going to do is it's basically going to allow you to run these, uh, run the scripts, which will ultimately uh, patch and install the tweak onto your device. So you're then going to hop back into your shortcuts app. Do not close out of it after doing that. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on the rootless jailbreak patcher um, shortcut, like I showed you how to get before, and you're going to click on unpatched, and it will then bring you to a place where you can then paste in a link. So for me, I have already copied the link for this, uh, the cylinder file. Go ahead, do that, hit OK. 
and then you should get a prompt to install or remove and in this case we are installing this tweak and if you were to be removing a tweak you would find the do the exact same thing except you'd hit remove gonna go ahead and hit install it will run give it a few seconds this can sometimes take a few seconds and then you will get an option to respring or donate obviously you will hit respring and it will respring your device um, and then this is really all it takes is you just got to make sure that you do everything exactly as followed and you and without unsandboxing the shortcuts app it won't work you're going to get an error so you got to make sure it's essential that that happens so as you can see now um, uh, now we have cylinder and as you know this is not the default um, this is not the default animation I've already used this tweak in the past so that is why it came with this animation as a matter of fact for those of you that like it I'm going to go ahead down into my settings and for those of you that are wondering this setting scroll tweak it is called cask into cylinder and I'll show you the um, effects that are enabled right now um, the two that I have actually three that I have are dominoes double door and emotion UI for this cool little uh, little transition here Anyway, yeah, guys, it's really that simple, and as I said before, if you would like to remove the tweak, all you have to do is follow those exact same steps, except just hit remove where you would have hit install, and that's really all it takes. I'm going to stress this once again. Make sure the tweak you are trying to install is compatible with your iOS version, and just don't really go experimenting if you don't know what you're doing, because that could really damage your device, and you know no one really wants that to happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad to get back out there a little bit to make a video, and just wanted to clear up some of the confusion. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.